I walked long enough to convince myself that I was the only thing alive in that place. And then night came, and I saw lights, so I went to them. It was a house, and there was a man and a woman there. They were kind, and they told me. The man told me that seven years earlier, he was in a supermarket, and every single person disappeared except for him. And the woman told me that she lost her husband, her three daughters, and all eight of her grandchildren. And that's when I understood. Over here, we lost some of them. But over there, they lost all of us. So I went and did what I came there to do. I went to find my kids. Planes don't really fly over there. They have the resources, just not enough pilots. So I found a boat that would take me. No boats go directly from Australia to New York. So it took me a long time to get there. A long time. But I finally did. And I walked through Mapleton. I walked through the town where I grew up. where my parents died and met, where you and I met. Most of the houses are overgrown with weeds, but the street lights still turned on at night, and that made me feel less stupid about expecting them still to be there, still there in the very same house where I lost them. When I got there, I stood behind a tree across the street and I waited because I was too scared to go up and knock. And then, after a while, the door opened. At first, I didn't recognize them. A tall, teenage boy with curly hair. And a girl maybe 11. They were my children. And then my husband came out and he was with a woman. She was pretty. She was pretty and they were all smiling. They were happy and I understood that here in this place they were the lucky ones in a world full of orphans they still had each other and I was a ghost I was a ghost who had no place there And that, Kevin, is when I changed my mind. The physicists who sent me through told me the first person to use the machine was the guy who invented it. His name was Dr. Von Egan. I'm pretty sure they were making fun of me, but they said when I went over that I should look him up, so I did. That took a long time, too. But I found him. And I asked him to make another machine, because he already knew how. And he asked me if I'd come all that way, why in God's name did I want to go back? And I told him it's because I didn't belong there. So he built it. And I came back through. I came back here. 